In this video, we are going to talk about exactly what you should and shouldn't do after you've just finished a diet. We are Dan and Mike, and this is 5 Minute Fitness, where we try and cram as much training and nutrition related information into just six. Five minutes, obviously, five minutes, innit? Wouldn't be six, would oh, it? Oh, it's a little done. joke. Okay. Now, huh? Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. We do loads of other things. We do vlogs, behind the scenes videos, spoof documentaries, which go down pretty well. And this man does some pretty epic food challenges as well. What to do after you finished a diet. Did you know that most people don't actually have a problem losing weight? Most people can stick to diets, most people lose weight. It's what they do afterwards that is the real problem because a lot of people regain weight after dieting. We don't have a weight loss problem in the UK. Everyone says we've got a weight loss problem. No, we haven't. Like Everybody's lost weight at some point. Even if it's a few pounds, you know you can lose weight. Yep. The problem isn't weight loss. The problem is continuing it and then keeping it. Because that's where all these fad diets, you know, where you just drink celery juice or you just drink water, you fast all the time. Time, you fucking drink cabbage soup or stuff. Is that the one cabbage, cabbage soup, soup diet? diet the Cambridge, Cambridge diet. diet. There's loads of diets like that. And it's like, who yeah. the fuck is going to stick to that? <laughs> exactly, even if you yeah. are from Cambridge, you can lose the weight. <laughs> yeah, even if you like Cambridge. Now, a diet does not have to be sustainable per se. Nope. Because if you sustained a diet, you would die. Be zero you, you, kilograms. There'd, there'd be nothing left of you. No way. So yes, your diet will naturally be more restrictive than a maintenance period because by default you've got to eat less food. Mm -hmm. But that still doesn't mean you don't instill the the good healthy habits that Dan's talking about maybe allowing in social occasions maybe allowing in alcohol maybe allowing in some of the foods that you do enjoy like and eating normal foods that you tend to like rather than going i'm just going to eat fucking dust if you eat if you eat foods on your diet that you can't see yourself eating long term then ultimately there's something wrong with that now on a diet we would eat mainly meat and veg now we don't want to eat meat and veg solely on its own all the time for long periods of time. I want some carbs. Yeah, I want some carbs, I want some fats, I want some nice tasting things in there. We know that if we then increase calories over those weeks post-diet, we can go to a level where we know we're not going to then gain weight, we're just going to maintain where we're at, mm -hmm. and we can then start increasing the foods that we do enjoy. So when you take your calories back up to maintenance number, you know, you can start increasing the amount of tastier foods in your diet, but the bulk of it should still be what you did when you were dieting. So we would still eat a lot of meat and veg, we might then throw in some carbs, potato, some chips, Whatever. You can't go back to eating the way that you were eating before. You can't, because that's fat. what got you fat. Like, you can't go, right, the diet's done, fucking happy days, like, yeah. smash the food in, because I've not had any of it for ages. That's what people do, isn't now, it? Yeah, now I get all of it, and yeah. I go all the way back up, and oh, God, I'm really depressed because I've gained all that weight back. And so you, the diet didn't work, so I didn't keep it off. No, the diet worked, Look. because you lost the yeah. fucking fat. You didn't What work. didn't work is afterwards. Yeah. So just increase the foods that you're eating. Your satiety will start to improve. Your hunger will start to improve. Your food focus will become a little bit less but yeah. still do it in moderation. Don't eat like a fucking prick. Like, stick to what you're supposed to be doing because the diet lasts longer than just the fat loss phase. You then need to get yourself healthier. And if you do start to overeat, if you are suffering some of the negative, like, if you do start to experience those things, that they need to become the priority. Yeah. Like, if you are focused on your physique, you almost need to be okay with softening it up slightly because by default, you can't maintain that look whilst not doing the same things. If you were doing an hour of cardio a day, eating 900 calories a day, what's the chances of you looking the same on more food and less cardio forget about that if, if your hormones have been dysregulated if you've lost your period the focus becomes get your fucking period back yeah. like do that safely don't binge and then restrict and starve because you're worried about losing your abs or whatever get your period back that's your main fucking goal same same with guys get your yeah. testosterone back to a decent level right people seem to think as well that with their diet they have to reach their goal weight instantly and you can't do it you can't take off say five kilos then go back up again with your food be okay there for a few weeks go down in five again back up again a little bit i actually have found with a lot of clients that doing it a bit more staggered approach like that leads to better results in the longer term if you try and take off 30 40 kilos in a go it's hard it's not impossible but it's going to be very very hard for you to then get to the end of that diet and not want to eat loads and loads and loads of food so taking a more staggered approach to it, having diet breaks regular diet breaks and that could offset some of those things but after the diet is harder than the diet mm -hmm. after a diet when you see that weight creeping back up slowly again it's hard mentally it's hard physically it's hard because you look at yourself all the time you judge yourself the other way you think you're getting fat but you'll never get back to that start place if you take your diet and a sustainable approach in terms of what we're talking about like the habits not the fact you're going to diet forever but those habits need to be instilled so that when it comes to after a diet you're okay with right eating the same food you've been eating slightly more and seeing that weight go up you should need to be okay with that mental side of it because it's really difficult now if you need any help with that just reach out let us know links are below to our instagram to all those sorts of places you can reach out to us message us we'll help you if you're struggling just give us a shout honestly hope you enjoyed that video that was five minute fitness please do hit subscribe smash that like button leave us a comment with any other videos you want us to cover in the future until next time see you later